Hi, what I'm going to show you today is how to convert a uh, image file, some text, into an FCS file that you can look at in Flojo. This is just kind of something for fun, but it could have other applications. So we're going to start in Microsoft Paint. And there, let's make a new image and resize it to 500 by 500 pixels. And we'll take the text tool and we'll type in some whatever text uh, you want. And let's save that as a JPEG file. Once we're done with that, I'm going to go to image J. Um, and I like image J because you can get the coordinates of the, that image file. So what we're going to do is we're going to open that file we just created. Um, and first, I'm going to convert it to an, just an 8-bit um, file by going image type 8-bit. Next, I'm going to um, process that image or sorry, um, adjust the brightness and contrast. So I'm gonna make it as contrasty as possible <clears throat> uh, just by upping the contrast all the way. That's just to make sure all the pixels are either all black or all white. Um, <clears throat> next, I'm gonna get the coordinates. So the XY coordinates. So if you go to Analyze, Tools, Save XY Coordinates, what that's gonna do is give you <clears throat> um, every pixel coordinate that is not background, and in this case, background is 255 um, uh, brightness value, so that's white pixels as background. So it's gonna basically tell me every pixel that's black. And I'm gonna hit okay here. And it's going to ask me where I wanna save this. And I'm gonna save it here. Uh, and it, tell, it told me that it exported 29,000 pixels, roughly. And that's fine. Now I'm gonna go into my, uh, folder where I have this text file and the next step is I'm going to drag that text file into Excel. Now when I do that, what it's going to do is give me three, um, three columns of information. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a column at the top. Uh, I'm going to call the first column X coordinate and I'm going to call the second column Y coordinate. Third column, I'm actually going to delete. That's just the pixel intensity, which should be black for all those pixels. I'm going to delete it. Now what I'm going to do is save this as a CSV file. I'm going to go save as CSV, select the CSV file type, which can be imported into Flojo. And I'm going to call this demo no random. The no random means I'm not going to add any random data points to this. And what you're going to see later is that this doesn't look real visually appealing. Um, it'll look best if you include some random points so that it looks more like flow data. Um, but I'll save that one first to just demonstrate that. The next thing I'm going to do to include some random data points and give it a little noisiness is I'm going to scroll down all the way to the bottom. For me, that's there's 29,000-ish um, rows of data. And in the first empty cell, I'm going to type the equation equals A2, that's my first cell of data, plus, and then I'm going to put this uh, formula called random between. And what that's going to do, I'm going to do minus two comma two. What that's going to do is it's going to generate a random integer between negative two and two. And what I'm doing here is adding it to uh, cell A2. And I'm going to fill that to the right. So it's going to also do that for the Y coordinate. So what it's done is it's taken the first event of my data and it's added a random integer to that. May have been zero. Uh, it's just gonna introduce some randomness. Now what I wanna do is go all the way um, down and fill a whole bunch of random data into this. So that way it looks a little more like, like our flow data. So a helpful thing for me is to, um, I'm gonna go down to about 500,000 cells, uh, rows. So I'm gonna press the F5 button. And um, it's gonna, um, I'm gonna put A 500,000. And so what that's gonna do 
is go down to the 500,000th row. And what I'm going to do now is highlight both columns A and B of the 500,000th row. I'm going to scroll all the way back up to my 20,000th row. This could be a little tricky to do. 29,000. Okay, so I'm at 27, 28, 29,000. Okay, and once I get to my cell with my equation in it, here, I'm going to highlight both of those. I'm going to press down shift and click on both of those. So now the rows, um, all the rows from this 29,000 all the way down to 500,000 have been highlighted. And now I can fill in um, all those rows with my equation. So I'm going to press control D. What that's going to do is fill in um, that equation. And so it's, uh, what I'm doing is adding randomness to this file. And I'm going to add a whole lot more events as well. So at this point now, I can save this, save as another CSV file. And I'm going to call this demo underscore random. From here, I'm going to go into Flojo now. So I'm going to open Flojo. And I'm going to take the folder where my CSV files are. And I'm going to drag the demo random file into Flojo. I think it has to be version 10 or higher to do this and move it there. And it's going to take it a second, but you'll see now it's um, generated an FCS file that's called demo random. And if I double click on that file, what you're going to see is something that looks like your text, but what you can see is it's got uh, some, some noisiness to it. You see events spread out. We can customize the axis to make this look a little better. Um, let me do that to that axis and to the, and to that axis, apply. And now, um, I'm going to open the layout editor and I can take this data and put it in the layout editor and I might make two of these and I'll take this one. Um, I like the pseudo color, but you might also want to look at it as a contour plot showing outliers. This will look kind of cool. So now you can see, um, you know, just a different way of looking at it. Uh, and you might play around with your random number generator or your how much randomness you introduce because for me this looks a little bit wonky. I may want to have not made it quite so random. Uh, and let me drag in what it would look like if you didn't introduce those random um, those random numbers. So with no random, if I click on that, what you're going to see is it's not going to look quite as appealing. It's not going to have that appearance of flow data with the, um, with the outliers, make it a contour plot. So it's, it's not going to look quite as cool as if you in include those outliers. Um, so that's pretty much it. And you can see there, you could put more uh, columns of information. You could have multiple messages in your FCS file. And this is an FCS file that you could share with other people. Thank you.